Hey, this is Kale, the Venom Teacher. I went on a couple snake calls this week and I got a gopher snake and a rattlesnake. And I've uh, noticed that a lot of people get gopher snakes confused with rattlesnakes. So I thought this would be a good opportunity before I release these two snakes to show you the differences between the two. So first of all, here is a gopher snake. So this is an adult Sonoran gopher snake and they actually will mimic rattlesnakes. So they pretend to be a rattlesnake. They will uh, puff up their head and uh, they'll raise up off the ground and hiss. They'll even shake their tail. Uh, and it looks like, uh, and kind of sounds like a rattlesnake. So I can see how people can get confused. So you might be looking at this and thinking, oh, it doesn't really look like a rattlesnake, but you gotta imagine it being curled up in a bush. You can't quite see it. Doing all, it's doing all these threat displays. But if you can get a good picture of it, uh, it's always good to go on the internet and try to identify it. But the first thing is you'll notice that gopher snakes have a pointy tail like this. Uh, rattlesnakes do not. And then if you look at their head, gopher snake's head is pretty thin and narrow compared to the rest of its body. So I'm going to show you a rattlesnake now and you'll be able to see some of the differences. All right, so in this bucket I have a rattlesnake. I'm going to pull him out here. So this is an adult Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. Oh, he's coming right at you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get him in a tube so we can look at him a little safer. And uh, hopefully he'll cooperate here. This is just a restraining tube that I often use for rattlesnake research. Yeah, I'm gonna go inside there. It's nice and comfy. Yeah, there we go. All right, so once inside, I can safely show you some of the stuff I'm talking about. So if you come right down here and view down at the top of his head, you can see how Diamondbacks, the top, see how they've got more of a triangle shaped head, really big wide head, and it goes to a narrow neck. So that's a really easy way to identify them. Uh, the other thing is, is their tails. And their tails are very thick. So even if that rattle was gone, they would not have a pointy tail. So a very easy way to spot them. So, uh, anyways, if you happen to see, you know, a snake in your yard, just remember, the best thing to do is just take a picture of it, uh, try to identify it from that. Uh, you shouldn't be picking up snakes because you could be picking up the wrong thing and accidentally getting bit. So hopefully that helps if you like. What you've heard, check out some of my other videos about education and learn about uh, some of these dangerous but beautiful creatures. All right, so here is that gopher snake that we picked up in the yard there. And I noticed that when we got him that he had uh, cactus spines on him. So I'm going to try to pull those out. Here's one. So. This is not really uncommon. There's so much uh, Troya. Oh, there's a big one. Look at that. See that big one? So there's lots of chumping cactus, which is called Troya. So they get it in their spines, or they get the spines up under their scales. There's another one. But uh, he's probably loving this. Oh, here's another one. So once uh, they shed, I think a lot of this stuff will come out, but it's got to hurt them. Okay. I think that's all of them. There you go, buddy. Doesn't that feel good? We take care of our snakes here at Venom Teacher's channel. <laughs> all right, so the funny thing about this uh, snake call was uh, before we got a chance to release this guy, uh, we they called us back and found another gopher snake in their yard. So I went back and uh, picked up this one. So uh, we got two gopher snakes from one house and we're going to release them both right now back into the wild. All right. There you go, guys. Enjoy your freedom.